Hey everyone, in this video, we are diving deep into border and line formatting in Google Slides. Whether it's a text box, shape, image, or even a simple line, these options let you customize and elevate the look of every element on your slide. Borders and lines can be applied to virtually anything. Text boxes, rectangles, images, you name it. And customizing them is super easy. Once you have selected an object, you will see these handy formatting options in the menu bar. Border color, border thickness, and border dash type. Let's start with the basics. You can change the color of your border to match your theme, adjust the thickness to make it stand out, or even choose between different dash types like solid, dotted, or dashed lines. For example, here's a simple text box. With just a couple of clicks, we can change the color, bump up the thickness, and switch the border style to dashed. It's quick, simple, and adds a lot of personality. Now, while these are the most common formatting tools, there's so much more you can do. Let me show you a few advanced options that are often overlooked. Head over to the Format menu, then down to Borders and Lines. Here's where you will find some hidden gems like border type and line decorations. Let's dive into border decorations first. You have got three options for shapes and images. Round join, miter join, and bevel join. And three options for lines. Butt cap, round cap, and square cap. Take a look at this shape. When I apply the round join, the corners become smooth and rounded perfect for creating a softer look. Now, switching to miter join gives us those sharp, crisp edges, ideal for more precise, modern design. And with bevel join, you get this neat, flattened corners that adds a subtle but stylish twist. And when it comes to lines, the cap options change the way the ends of your lines look. A butt cap gives a flat, clean ending to the line, the round cap adds a smooth circular edge, great when you want your lines to blend seamlessly with a design. Lastly, the square cap adds a little extra length to the end of the line, giving it a more defined presence. Next up, let's explore some of the border types. Most people stick to single lines, but there are some fantastic alternatives that can elevate your design. Let's check them out. Here's a standard text box and I'm going to change the border type to double. Instantly, it has a more polished and professional look. Now, watch what happens when I apply triple border. This adds even more depth, perfect for drawing attention to important sections. And my favorite, thin thick border. It combines two different line weights to create a modern eye-catching frame that's both stylish and functional. You can also apply these border types to lines. So whether you are working on a professional report or creating an interactive presentation, these border types help make your content pop. Before I wrap up this video, let me share a seriously cool tool for presentations. It is called Slides AI, a Google Slides add-on that basically does the heavy lifting for you. Just give Slides AI some basic info or a topic, pick your slide preferences, and boom. It generates beautiful slides with text, images, and layouts. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please like this video and share it with others. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.